official. Let's bring it on. The Ducks start with possession as we are now underway. Whiffs on that. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Riley's got the puck in his own zone. Solid hit on the play. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here he is from the slot. Oh, the poke check. What a read by the goaltender. Chris has been a reason why his team's in the win column. I mean, he's done everything he could between the pipes, as indicated by that save right there. Every time he's between the pipes, he gives his team an opportunity. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. The Ducks take it from the side. He scores! Driving right to the net, puts it in. Oh, I love this power move, James. Shielding the puck, and that is the key. Shielding it and taking away the space and behind the defender, not letting them back in, and then finishing it off. Great move all the way around. He was not going to be denied on this one, James. I mean, he knows how much ice is there, and he's going to get to it first because he has the courage to drive the space. He doesn't let his defender back in, and that's because of great shielding and puck protection, and he cashes in with a beauty goal. Anaheim's aggressive start has paid off because they've got one on the board. They've got one on the board. They've really set the table, James. It's all ready to go. The meal is about to be served because they have been all over their opponent right now, especially being the away team. You want to send a message early, playing real aggressive. The Leafs have it from their own end. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Here's the chance on the attack. The nice one. He got and we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Toronto's had a great first half of the season. The coaching staff, the management, the individual athletes, everyone's feeling it. You know who else is feeling it? The fan base, so passionate and excited to watch their team. Answered the call there. Now a quick pass to Nyes. Gains the zone through center. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Look out. He scores! Couple goals in a minute 50, James. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. time left in this period. Anaheim's really... the pace of play these last few minutes leading by two the Ducks get a hold of the draw Anaheim's got the puck against the board and that doesn't reach the net shakes off the coverage shakes off he's got a step oh the him on the play uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save Anaheim's on the attack. Here's a shot. And that's blocked from someone in front. Handles the pass. Uses the force on that hit. Nice carries the puck in his own zone. Tries to get it to Riley. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Driving right to the front, and he keeps that one out. A big time save, oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And as play continues, score! Hang on, hang on, James. This is not going to...
gonna count. Look oh. at the bodies down there. The goaltender had no chance of playing the puck. This is definitely goaltender interference. Look at this. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Takes a shot! Stops him cold! Here's a blast! Stars! Make it three in a row, and they're coming down! Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a way you can steal it. The energy, every single shift. They're getting it in. Well, it's not often that shots beat the goaltender clean from distance, James, but it's all about finding that lane and then getting all of it on it. This one has seeing eyes and makes its way to the back of the net. The Ducks have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. as the puck is dropped. Takes a wrist shot, scores! And the rookie pucks his 10th of the season. I think no matter who you are, you come into a season and you apply pressure to yourself, your own personal expectations. I think this number is a nice number for him, James. I think they'll be happy with number 10. It's going to be a quick release that gets it done here, James, but I'm more impressed with him getting to position. you got to fight to get to those areas. It's tough in there. You pay the price, and because he does, he scores the goal. Well, the youngster certainly showing that he fits in in the league. That's 10 goals now. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at positive production when you look at his numbers, James. I mean, coming into a league as a rookie, there are so many nuances and ways you got to find a way to integrate yourself into the game, and he's doing a fantastic job. Blocked in traffic. Grabbed along the board by Rossi. Denies them in close. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Anaheim's got it from behind their own net. Looking for space inside the D zone. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. And the officials are going to say play on here. Well, that's some great speed to be able to catch up to the puck and keep that play alive. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. And now it's grabbed by Tavares. And he's written off the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Tavares in front. Oh, Stolars is in a tough spot, and this is part of the game when you're the second goaltender, you come in forward, but does a great job of making that save. Really getting settled in with common composure early. The Ducks play into the corner. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Tavares just wants to get back to the bench, but when you're in the middle of the play and you're not feeling it, you're feeling injured and you're wincing, it's difficult to get off because you know that you're going to put your team in a vulnerable spot as you make your way to the bench. Guts it out and tries to stay on. Big face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. you got to find ways to get pucks to the net. Oh, big time save by Stolarz! Tippett's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Anaheim's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Puck scooped up by Faber. On the attack along the boards. Cutting to the front of the net. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. They score. The pylon continues, Cheryl. Oh, it is ugly, and there's nothing worse in the score than having your own.
first. Anaheim's won it. So far in this first period, they've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. Anaheim's won the draw. The Ducks played along the wing. He's like a magician out there. The puck is on his string. He can maneuver around his opponent and he gets net front and just can't execute because the goaltender is right there and makes a nice save. Slides it across to Yarncro. Slides the puck to Huckenpah. Toronto's looking to break out. Oh, it's some smooth skating to lose the defender there. Gets the puck in deep. The Ducks have it behind the cage. Gains the zone along the right wall. Sends it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. First period nearly in the books here. Loses the coverage there. Musa quickly over to Faber. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Anaheim through center and now in the offensive end. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Michaels won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Well, that brings it into period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Be sure to attend our Auto Light Truck Show next weekend and give us an EP in next year's fall. We are about ready to go for the middle stanza here tonight. this one up through the first 20 minutes. The Leafs' performance was abysmal in that opening 20 minutes, James. They didn't do anything right. It looked like a lack of preparation. And often that isn't just the coaches. That's the mindset of the players going in. I'm not sure what it was, but they're going to have to change it in the second period. This one was embarrassing. Sends it in on the attack. Slides it up to champion. Oh, great move to sidestep the champion. And he catches that one with the glove. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position. Square to the shooter in the slot. He makes the glove hand save. And a great save. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Anaheim's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. The Ducks win possession here in the open ice. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. From the left side, takes the pass. Sends it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Nice, plays it now. Gaining momentum along the wing. The 
Lamont scoop it up along the boards. The Leafs take possession of the neutral zone. And he sidesteps the check there. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Oh, and one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Oh, look at this. Stuck by Stars. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. one and they lead it here in this second period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Toronto's got it now. Oh, look at this. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Chris He'll made a nice start. Stop by the goaltender. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Favors get in two for tripping. <laughs> the Leafs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. The first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Now he slides it up to Nash. All alone! Oh, that just looked like indecisiveness there, Cheryl. Yeah, and a lack of confidence as well, James. When you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do, and you have to play with authority. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Takes it up center. Nylander's got it against the boards. Anaheim's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Oh, he gets it! Good enough to make a great save! He got all of that hit. Stones him in front. Well, a great A scoring chance taken away from the inner slot because he's so aggressive and gets to the top of his crease. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Play well dead, let's get the call. Rossi's going to the box for tripping. players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Big time stop there. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Tries to feed it over to Yarncroak. And that slides right out to center ice. The Ducks have it behind the net. 
And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And he's going to leave the net to play the puck here. Save James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Dishes it to Champion. Favors out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. Loves the puck back into the neutral zone. And he'll retreat inside his own end. With the puck inside the defensive zone. He takes a moment to backtrack and maintains possession. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. The Ducks played along the boards. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Here they come. Puck leaves the zone on the bad pass, and they'll be forced to regroup. Rossi's almost out of the box. Riley's loving the puck. The Ducks PK unit delivers in a big way. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. Moves it to Riley. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Laying the body. The Leafs take possession here in the open ice. Puck picked up by Rossi. Here they are on the attack. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Here he is in the open ice on the breakaway. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right. But his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Quick feed to Brink. Cuts to the front. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Anaheim's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Makes a save. Gets a piece of it with his arm. Takes a shot. That goes off the blocker. What a save by Stolarz. And they continue to apply pressure here. Tanner stick handling in his own zone. And Ross got it from behind his own net. And he slides it quickly to champion. Oh, wow. Dishes it off. Great pressure with the stick. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves inside. Right in the low slot. And he makes the save. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. Scores!
It's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Scores! Juice is wide as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the four check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. I can't believe the time he had to walk into that one, James. He just lets it rip. Slap shot, low stick side, beats the goalie clean. have an intermission which can pause and give their opponent some rest that they need. Taken by power. The Ducks have it now. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here and we'll come back. Third period action next. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. And they win that draw at center. Quick pass to Nylander. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. They've got numbers here. Takes the pass back at the point. Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. A chance in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Stolarz. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. And it goes off the stick and off to the side. Here's a short pass to Matthews. Slides it to Riley. Anaheim's got possession at center. This Riley is such a high-energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. Faber's got it across the line. Oh, oh what a save in front. Nylander's got the puck in his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Matthews. Good hit. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. Tippett's back on the ice, exactly where the coach wants him. He's been the go-to guy in this game, multiple points so far. on total cruise control early in this third period. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? From the point, they take control of it. Anaheim's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Redirected off a stick. Handles it along the blue line. Makes it look easy with the stop. Feeds it to Riley. Anaheim's trying to make something happen on the offensive side. Oh, it's Stato! It's Stato! It's Stato! Oh, that's all real, and this is going to elevate his team, no question about it, James. I mean, it was all but in, and then he comes from nowhere to make that save. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Here he is in front. There's another stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Now lining up here for the face-off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Would be surprised to see a little stall at the face-off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. Dumps it into the O-zone. Camps working it around in the corner. Good hit to pump him off the puck. 
There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. The Ducks have a significant lead here in the third period. They have brought their A game tonight. Off the draw, snakes around him. Moves it quickly over to Brink. Oh, what a move! Gets in front of him. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. The Ducks have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Michael's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Dismiss that chance. And there's a puck at the point. And that goes off, pours off a body. Shuts him down. Takes the feed. Takes it in front. Wow, what an incredible shift. They're so urgent all over the offensive zone. Coaches love these types of shifts. And he slides it quickly to the The Ducks got a hold of the puck in the open ice. Incredible shade from the slot area. That's a beauty. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to it, James, but he sure did. And he's knocked off the puck there. Moves it to Michael. For point player. Oh, that's a huge shot. And they score. Well, this is a difficult save to make and the shooter recognizes that it's not about how hard it is, but it's about how accurate it is as he beats the goaltender blocker side. The Ducks are having themselves a night, and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. Matthews wins it inside the neutral zone. Rocked him right at him. Yeah, you could see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. And the exclamation mark thrown there. Yeah, this fight is over with that decisive last punch, James. The Ducks playing very aggressive. That fight right there just showing that they're sending a message, trying to gain some energy, silence the crowd, and really dictate the play. Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play. And face-off here set to resume action. The Ducks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Here they come on the attack. Stop by the goaltender. Quick feed down low. Michael's got control of the puck in the corner. Detroit's coming up next on the schedule, and these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that. Here he is, takes the shot, and that carries off a body in the lane. Great save. Picked up along the boards by Johns. And now it's grabbed by Matthews. Tries to get the puck over to Nines. Takes it across the blue line. To the crease with the stop. Moves it over to Johns. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Oh, and it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. I love the way he recognizes the spacing behind his opponent. And he decides to take it. He is gone. I mean, he's lightning fast and he's quick to boot to go with it. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Makes the glove stop. The Ducks are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. The Leafs win the draw. Kanev's got it in the defensive end. 
Sparks off the puck. The Ducks take it along the wall. Quick shot. Oh, a clutch save. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. The Ducks are across the line and into the offensive end. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Stolarz. Nice, works the puck in his own zone. Anaheim's going to hold him it against the wall. Come cast up to that pass. Taken along the wall by Darlene. Now a quick pass to tip it. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. And a great speed. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Silverberg. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Here's a blast. 46 seconds left. 43 seconds left on the clock. Steps into it. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. Scores! And three is the magic number as he picks up the hat trick. The hat trick for the first one this season, James. And they say that when the puck comes to you, it isn't just luck. He's all around it. And then you got to do something with it. And he buries it three times. That puck comes off his stick so fast, the goalie can't get a read on it. It's in the back of the net. Thank you. 